The most annoying part of this integral is this huge power on sine. I mean, we have sine to the 2025 of x. I mean, can we use some power reduction formula for this? No, that's going to take forever. <laughs> so we're going to need some more clever way to deal with this integral. So why don't you pause the video and try to figure out a solution for yourself? Done? <laughs> okay, so firstly, what appeals to me is that this power is odd, which is quite annoying, right? So can we maybe make it even? Because if it's even, we can use the Pythagorean identity, which can help. So how do we break it up? Well, we could try breaking this expression up as, so this is equal to the integral of sine to the 2024 of x times sine of x dx. Now, over here, this is an even power. And furthermore, notice that this over here, sine to the 1024 of x, this is equal to, this is equal to sine squared x to the 1012 power. Now, this over here, sine squared x, we can suddenly use the Pythagorean identity to write this as a cosine expression. So this is equal to the integral of 1 minus cosine squared of x to the 1012 power times sine of x. Now, here's where things get cool. Because notice that we have cosine x over here. And if you observe the derivative of cosine x, that's negative sine of x, right? And notice that we have a sine of x in the expression. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's do a u substitution. Specifically, let u equals to cosine of x then du is equal to negative sine of x dx and therefore we have dx is equal to du over negative sine of x so we can replace this dx over here this is equal to times negative du over sine of x and would you look at that this sine x and sine x over here they cancel away, and we can take this negative sign out of the integral. So this integral becomes the negative of the integral of 1 minus, and notice that cosine x is u, so this is u squared to the 1012 power, and then this over here is just du. And would you look at that? This is simply a polynomial we can integrate this very, very easily. Now, admittedly, this is a huge polynomial. I mean, this is 1 minus u squared to the 1,012 power. So we're likely going to have to use summation notations to write this integral out. However, that's okay. That's still going to be a valid answer. So this integral over here is equal to the negative integral of, and you can expand this over here with binomial theorem. By the binomial theorem, this over here is equal to the sum as k goes from 0 and then up to 1,012 of 1,012 choose k and then times negative 1 to the k times u to the 2k du. And note that this negative sign, so this negative 1 to the k comes from the fact that it's minus u squared. So this is our integrand over here and we can integrate this by just raising the power on u by one and then dividing by the new power for each term so this integral this integral becomes the negative summation of k equals to zero up to 2012 of 1012 choose k and then negative one to the k and this u over here was equal to cosine x so let's substitute that back while we're at it so this is cosine of 2k plus 1 of x over 2k plus 1. And then, of course, we need our constant. So this over here is going to be the answer to our integral. Yes, it looks, it looks kind of complicated. However, notice that this method over here, which I showed you, can actually easily generalize the integral of sine to the any odd power of x. No matter how big the odd power is, this is a really good way to generalize that integral. And yeah, it's pretty easy to do so. However, I, I encourage you to still try it out. If anyone can let me know if there's like a closed form expression for this integral, then 
please i would love to know that would be so cool anyways thank you very much for watching this video i hope you found it interesting if you did then please do consider dropping a like and subscribing thank you very much bye